welcome back to Pokemon Breaks. Um, I'm excited to be here again. Um, so this is Kim um, and today I'm super excited. I don't know if it's even going to fit my frame. I'm super excited to be opening this massive um, Pikachu VMAX premium figure collection. We've got that Chonky Chew, we've got some promos, we have three bonus packs, I think there's eight celebrations packs in here. Um, so let's get into it. I'm super stoked. I cannot wait um, to get this Pikachu figure out of the box. It is just so, so cute. Um, so let's get into it. I hope you're having a good day and enjoying your weekend or whatever day it is wherever you are. Um, I'm having a really good weekend so far. I've opened up a few Pokemon products. Ooh, spent some time outside. So I'm having a great time. Um, first of all, I'll get these promos out of here. Um, and I've got to say, with this set, Pokemon has done such a good job of actually securing the promos a lot better in these boxes. Because historically, they were much harder to get out and you'd almost you're almost guaranteed to like damage your promo when you try to get it out of the box um, so they've done a heaps good job with these so with this box you get this super cute Pikachu V promo card with Bolt Tackle um, and this is a reprint of a previous card but it is just so cute I absolutely love it um, and then we also get this stunning Pikachu V Max. Um, and this is a bit different, I think, to the one that was in Vivid Voltage because this is the Pikachu Wants a Hug. Um, so it's slightly different and I just love it. He's so cute. And on both of these, you've got the 25th anniversary logo as well. Oh, I love it. They're just so, so cute. Um, so that's the first thing out of that box. We've got this Chonky Chew. Um, Statue. He's just so cute. He barely fits on frame. Um, he's so fat. Like, not. I'm not making fun of him, but he is rotund. He is round. Um, like, he's just so adorable. I love it. Look at his little face. Um, I cannot wait to display this. I absolutely love it. They've done really, really well. This figure is like heavy. It's weighty. Um, like, it just looks. It looks so nice. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys have a chance to pick one of these up because it is just like so so cute I love it. I'm gonna keep him in the background there so we can have a look at him while we open our packs um, So first up we've got those three bonus packs. So we've got darkness ablaze chilling rain and vivid voltage um, Now I do a stream as well with my friend Brad I open Pokemon cards um, and we have this thing that we always bless up the cards because I think it gives you better luck so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, so I'll open Chilling Rain first because that's one of the sets I haven't had the best luck with. My, ex my expectations are not very high, I'll be honest. Um, so let's see what we get out of Chilling Rain to start with. So four to the front. All right, we've got a normal type energy. We have a echoing horn with rapid strike. A Seabold trainer card with Rapid Strike, a Curlia, very nice, a Grookey with Rapid Strike, look at him chopping up wood, he's so cute, that's a really sweet looking Grookey. We've got a Score Bunny single strike, very cute, rolling up some snow, I bet that's not very comfortable as a fire type. An Aaron, we've got a Snow Runt, very cool, Venipede. A um, Reverse Hollow Single Strike Urshifu. Would have been nice to get the full art of that one, but that's pretty cool. And last up, I've got a Doug Trio with Rapid Strike, just a regular rare. That's a pretty interesting looking artwork though. Doug Trio is one of those probably difficult to depict Pokemon. Right, I'll get those out of the way. Next bonus pack I'll open is the Darkness Ablaze. So I'll bless that up. Let's see what we can get. You know, how crazy would it be to get a Charizard or something out of this one? Be very, very lucky, wouldn't it? Alright. Code card out of the way. One, two, three, four to the front. Alright, Fire Energy. A Simisage. A Simipore. Very cool. That's a duo. A Corvid Squire. A Torchic. Very nice. A Starly, 
a scarmony for cool artwork. Flying through the air, I like that. Hand sage, very sweet out in the jungle. Electric, a reverse hollow bunnel bee. I like that artwork, that's a really cool one. And last up, a regular rare thievel. So no love out of those two packs. Maybe we've saved up all of our luck for Vivid Voltage and we're going to get that Pikachu. I'm, I'm pikachu out today. I've got, you know, we've got our little statue. I've got my Pikachu uh, black milk t-shirt on. I don't know if you can see that. I've got Pikachus in the background. Uh, we've gone hard on Pikachu. So maybe this Vivid Voltage pack has all the luck out of all the extra ones. Um, and we get something cool. Rainbow Pikachu V Max would not be a bad thing. Um, I, it was a green card. I've noticed, because um, I haven't had at least one of these bonus packs where I had it was a white card and I didn't get a hollow. So maybe green card and I will get something good. Who knows? Water Energy, Alistair, cool trainer card, very creepy. Matang, a Kakuna, a Eevee, Wubat, very sweet, looks like he's just sunning himself. Aracuda, like there's a um, Ramorant in the background diving into the water. That's a cool artwork. A sea dot out in the autumn leaves. Fan P. I love this artwork so much. It's really, really sweet with a little Teddy Ursa in the front. Very, very cute. Um, a reverse hollow Charmander. Very joyous, sweet artwork on this one. I like that a lot. And last up, a regular rare Metagross. That is all right. We didn't get anything crazy out of any of those bonuses, but that's okay. That's not really the main event. What we're really after, where I'd really like to see some hits, is out of these eight celebrations booster packs. So let's get into it. All right, first pack, we'll bless it up. Let's see what we get out of this one, shall we? Fingers crossed. Ooh, this one doesn't want to open. I find these, um, these four card packs Probably more difficult to open than normal. I don't know if it's because I'm being more careful because um, there's not much cardboard to protect the cards. All right, so we've got a Evatil or Yvatil, however you like to say it. Very nice. A Kyogre, a beautiful card. A Ho-Oh, I love this art as well, really cool. And last up, we've got a Lunala. So nothing crazy out of that first pack, but that's all right. We've got seven more to go. Second pack, bless it up, Let's see what we get, fingers crossed. I'd really like to see some more of those base set starters. Um, I've got the Blastoise, but the Venusaur, maybe it's not open. The Venusaur the Charizard would obviously be very welcome. Um, I've got Magikarp, I don't have that one yet either, or the Mew EX. Any of those would be really, really nice to see. Code card out of the way. We've got Groudon. I love this Groudon artwork with the trainers in it. I think it gives it a really nice sense of scale. Very cool artwork on that card. Cosmog. This is another one of my favorite artworks from this set, actually. I've seen it quite a few times, but every time I just love it. It's really sweet. He's having a big tantrum. Evatol or Yvatol again. Nice. And last up, we've got a Zamacenta V. Very cool. I do have this one already, but it's always nice to get a V. Always nice to get a full art. Happy with that. Very cool. I'll pop that one in a sleeve. If anyone's out there um, who has celebration stuff and they want to trade, hit me up because I'm getting a lot of doubles. <laughs> I think everyone is. Um, all right, we'll bless this one up. Pack number three of eight. And let's see what we get Ooh, out of this one. I mean, I think the real prize was that chunky chew there. Um, but if we get some, some good pulls, obviously that would be ideal. Um, all right, so we've got Zekrom. Very nice. I love the hollow on that one. Very, very cool. A Dialga, that dark stormy sky background. Osmoam with sweet little Lily sleeping in the background. Very nice. And Lunala again. All right, well, we're striking out a little bit. Hopefully, we get some more love out of the remaining packs. Next up, bless it up. Let's see what we get. Fingers and toes crossed. If you've gotten your hands on um, one of these boxes, I'm curious to see what your pull rates were like. I haven't watched many of these videos at all, so I don't really know what what what's average, what to expect. Um, Lugia, 
that artwork again. Reshi Ram, a Palkia. Very cool. Nice, like, stormy sky background. Mew. And that's it. Okay. All right. Well, look, we've still got some really nice cards. Got some doubles that I can trade. Um, so we'll, we'll keep going. Let's see if we get something, something reprinted out of this pack. Curious about what your favorite cards out of this set are. I really like the artwork on that regular Mew, actually. Um, that's a really beautiful, beautiful card with that kind of cosmic looking background. Really nice. All right. What have we got here? All right. Beautiful Kyogre artwork as well. I feel like in any, any set, you know, any other set, this would be one of those chase cards because you've got that Kyogre got those trainers again to give you that sense of scale it's a really beautiful artwork um, so I like that a lot really happy to have it we've got Xerneas I also love the art and the colors on this one really really beautiful um, very nice looking card love the color scheme and the hollow is just stunning we've got a Ho-Oh again very cool looking Ho-Oh and we've got Lunala all right so no base sets out of this one so far. I wonder, interesting. That is really interesting because I feel like the rates have been generally around 50% of the packs roughly have had one of those base set cards and we haven't had any out of this box. Um, I'll get the code out of the way. We've got Ho-Oh. We have Lugia, very nice. Groudon, again, trainers in the scene to give it some scale. And a flying Pikachu VMAX, very cute. I love that VMAX, he's so donkey. <laughs> I don't know how he's flying, it must take a lot of helium in those balloons. Um, but again, you've got that plane in the foreground to give you some scale. You can tell how chunky that Pikachu really is. <laughs> very, very cute. Second last pack, let's bless it up. Um, I mean, I'd really like to see any of those base, like reimagined cards, any of them. Any one of them would make me really happy right now. So let's see what we get, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Zekrom, Cosmog, very sweet artwork. We've got Xerneas again, beautiful. And Solgaleo, okay? All right, last one, last pack magic. Let's get into it. This is interesting though, I mean, Wow, this is a totally different pull rate to what I've seen with um, ETBs and you know any of the other products I've bought from this set. So very interesting. I'm curious to see if this is kind of universal or if it was just this one box. Um, Kyogre, again, beautiful artwork there. Yvetal or Yvetal, whatever you want to say. Very nice. A Ho-Oh. And last up, we've got Mew. So no base set cards out of that box. Um, that's really interesting. So none of those reimagined cards, this was all just the standard celebration set. We didn't get a single one. Um, so that is really interesting. I'm curious if anybody else has experienced that because I'm honestly really surprised. Um, that's totally different to, I guess, what I've experienced myself with opening these products, but what I've seen from other people opening it. So, I mean, hit me up with a comment um, if you've seen anything similar or if that's as weird to you as it is to me. I don't know um, but I'll let you go have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are um, and if you want to subscribe on Pokemon breaks on Twitch YouTube Instagram all that stuff links will be down below um, have a great day and until next time I'll see you around bye